No, for vegan milk. Vegan milk. Okay, yeah. It costs them more. Their biggest expense is real milk. But, and then they don't charge extra for that, but they charge extra for the vegan products, which costs them less. I mean, it's sort of Well, that's their business. Well, of course it is, but what That's their business. You cannot tell Starbucks how to run their business. You well, run your business, I run my business, you well, run your business. We want, we want their customers like you to tell them how to run their business. Exactly. Right. Tell them yeah, you ain't getting get nowhere with me. Well, if, <laughs> well I think you're not listening. Well, two yeah. things you might consider. Starbucks acknowledges that milk is the biggest contributor that uh, all their products to degradation of the environment. That might be yeah, you're crazy there too. You're crazy. The biggest problem with the environment is the loss of topsoil around the world. You know what makes that worse? Animal farming. Animals eat most of the crops. Humans don't eat most of the crops. No, you don't. Look it up. Cows eat grass and they produce. They eat corn and soybeans too. Do you know that in the U.S., 77% of soybeans are fed to animals? Only 23% are fed to humans. I love beef. I love chicken. Yeah. I'm not a faggot. A faggot? Man, you need to fuck off, man. Seriously. There you go. I knew it would only matter to Well, you're a homophobe. Start using You're a homophobe. You're a homophobe in addition to being an animal abuser. So go fuck yourself. A homophobe. You called me a faggot. I did not call you What'd a faggot. What'd you say? I love beef. I love chicken. Yeah. I'm not a faggot. Then, what'd you say? I, you're about as crazy as you can be. I did not call you a faggot. I love beef. I love chicken. Yeah. I'm not a faggot. No, I never said that. You said like a faggot. I never said that. I never said that. Okay. What'd you say then? I don't even know. Okay. Well, have a nice day. Yeah. Take care. Think about caring for the environment, that animals will destroy the pups, but they're not. Grass-fed beef is an on anomaly. It's rare. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you then don't maybe. Know what you're talking about. You don't eat meat anyway. Well, yeah, have a nice day. Go vegan. Go vegan. Oh, it's okay. We got an hour, but you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. General, uh, I got think about it. How can they read those numbers and really do something with them in time? So, can you tell us about the uh, the upcharge and what this protest is about? charge of vegan milk. And Starbucks acknowledges that cow's milk is the single biggest pro contributor to greenhouse gases of everything they sell. But still they're charging more for plant-based milk, which encourages people to go ahead and order cow's milk. It's bad for the environment, and certainly it's bad for the baby cows who are taken away from their mothers at birth so that we can drink their milk. And we're the only species that drinks milk after infancy and the only species that drinks the milk of another species. So a lot of this is just not very thoughtful or good of Starbucks. A, a major multinational corporation like Starbucks could certainly do more to preserve the environment and care for animal welfare. That's all we're asking. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm not a 